Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. There's my little man. <laughs> Hi. You want the camera? Big stretch. Big stretch. Mm -hmm. We're heading out to the store. Um, we're going to go return a few things I got from HomeSense. And um, I want to buy... Um, hand soap from Bath and Body Works. So we're gonna go do that and meet up with my mom and um, get out of the house. Hopefully I remember to record while I'm out today. Hey guys, we are at, uh, where are we again? HomeSense. We're at HomeSense. Got a mirror, I remember to finally show. There I am carrying him. Ah, there's my mom. She came to join us as usual. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> but there, you can see us shopping. So far, I picked up sheets, some books for him, and new towels for Dave and I because our towels are extremely old. It's getting embarrassing. I'm sure he'll ask why I bought towels because his towel's fine, but we all know they're old. So we are on our way home from our shopping trip with my mom. Um, we did home sense, picked up um, some sheets, towels, rug for the bathroom, um, something else, I don't remember. Picked up a few things anyway. Um, and um, yeah, we're on our way home now. Um, we went to Bath and Body Works as well. I grabbed a few things um, there. Just some car scent things, um, hand wash. I think that's about it, and hand sanitizer. Um, and that's about all I've got from our trip, for, from our shopping trip today anyway. I returned something that I bought last week when we went. Um, a clock, this pretty little clock. And I think, I don't know if we even recorded this, but I think I did tell you guys this, how Dave just was like, nope, don't want it. So I returned that and picked up a few things instead. Um, I really gotta stop shopping though, like all jokes aside, this needs to be the end of my shopping. Um, I still gotta do a shopping haul for you guys of my clothes that I, you know, my wardrobe overhaul. Um, and I was honestly waiting until I got a chance to do my hair before I do, before I record that, but I don't know when that's gonna happen, so I might just record the shopping haul anyway. You guys will have to excuse that my hair is not looking its prettiest, but I'm a new mother, so here we are. I'm a new mother who is trying to renovate a bedroom at the same time, doing way too much. Um, and my hair is honestly just the last thing on my list of to-dos. Like, every day is literally the last thing that I think about. Um, so, yeah, that's that. We're gonna, we're headed home now. I'm so mad because I think I showed you guys my ghost chair that I got for my new vanity. Um, so I had initially ordered one without arms from Amazon because I was under the impression that the height of our table to the height of the chair arm wasn't going to match up, that I'd be able to tuck it in. And it was very important that I can tuck in whatever chair I have because my room's small, so I can't leave a chair not tucked in. So, and when you shop online, they don't tell you the um, height of the arms of the chair. They tell the height of the full chair, like the back. So I bought one that didn't have arms from Amazon, but then literally the next day, I believe, I was out with my mom shopping and we stopped into Structube and I knew Structube had the arm one so I went there I'm like, let me just check it out. So I checked it out and I was just like, huh, this might actually tuck in. So they had tape measure there and I measured the height and I was like, this will totally tuck, in, tuck into my vanity. So um, I bought the chair from them but before I bought it, I made sure I canceled the Amazon order and they're like, your order's been canceled, perfect. And literally after I checked out at Structube, I get an email from Amazon saying, um, we attempted to cancel your order, but it um, might be too late. If you do end up receiving this chair in the mail, just when the, when the courier comes, just refuse the delivery and they'll bring it back to Amazon. So I'm like, all right, cool. So it was supposed to be delivered on Friday. They didn't deliver it on Friday. I was really mad because I stayed home Friday. Um, like, because I know like our UPS guy comes after one o'clock. So I made, I went out in the morning and I made sure to get home for one. Home all night, all day, sorry. 
and the UPS guy never, he came and he's like, I don't have a chair. And I was just like, really? They told me to be delivered today. Like that's what the UPS then said. And he's like, nope, don't have it. So he laughs and I checked it then again, they moved, moved it to Monday. So I was mad, I'm like, damn, I gotta do this again on Monday. So Monday, same thing, made sure I was home after one. Um, didn't actually go anywhere at all yesterday. No, I didn't go anywhere. Um, and we had a different UPS guy yesterday. This UPS guy was rude because he didn't ring the doorbell. He literally just left the box outside. I was so mad because I was sitting upstairs in our bedroom feeding a while. And I was like, hmm, it's 3.30. Like, UPS guy should be showing up anytime now. So I was gonna keep my ear out. And all of a sudden, I heard a truck starting. I was just like, oh, he's here. No, he's not here. He was leaving. I was so mad. I ran, like, our house is three stories. Ran down all the stairs, ran out the door. And as I got out the door, he was pulling up, pulling away. And I was just like, damn it. Like, come on, dude. You're supposed to ring the doorbell and at least alert the owner that you're here. They usually don't wait, but they'll ring the doorbell and leave the package and go. And he didn't ring the damn doorbell. I was so mad. So I had to immediately, I called UPS. I was like, so your driver delivered a package to me that I needed to refuse. And he didn't ring the doorbell. He was supposed to, he didn't. So I need you to call someone to come back and pick up this package because I'm not gonna be the one responsible for taking it to a post office. So they arranged that. So the guys come in today to pick it up. So again, I'm heading home to make sure that I'm home for the pickup so there's no issues and he can get rid of the chair and take it back. Long story for a simple thing. But it's all good. It's all good. I'm sure we have our first burned pile of clothes for Lyle. The clothes he just had on. That's that's just like parts. Not even like you don't want to see what happened in there. And it was literally as soon as we got home. Took him out of his car seat. I hear him. I'm like, ooh, you're pooping. I was like, ooh, that's a big one. And then I took him out. I was like, oh dear. Oh dear. You're lucky I love you. Because that was absolutely disgusting. You have no chill. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, I'm so mad because literally both pieces of clothing, his first time wearing them. And I was like, I love these little white pants. They're so cute. I love this like blue long sleeve. Looks great on him. Yeah, we're burning them both. Not e No, they can't even be saved. Nope. What do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say for yourself in that situation? <laughs> Nothing. So we're laying here having tummy time and then he gave up and I was wondering, like, what happened? Yeah, that happened. All over. <laughs> Poor soul. I'm sorry, sweetheart. He's in good spirits about it, though. So today we are reading. We just finished our tummy time, which, you know, you guys just saw how that ended. We are reading Where is Curious George? A look and find book. And he's trying to look at his letters and ignoring my reading, which isn't very nice. Son. Number four is F-O-U-R. Four. And we have four butterflies. Then next is the number five. F-I-V-E. Five. I can't sing, guys, so please don't judge me. But I sing for my son. You ready, son? You gotta look at me for this one, okay? So I can know you're paying attention. Look at me. You're not looking. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? One more time, okay? You gotta sing with me this time. Are you ready? You don't seem like you're ready. I think you're focused on other things, son. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. 
Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? You did it, son. You survived another learning lesson. Next time tomorrow? Same time? Yeah? Okay. Thank you for being so good and paying attention. Thank you. You're supposed to say you're welcome, Mom. That's okay. I know you're saying it in your mind. Time to play. What do you want to play with today? Do you want to play with your pull toy? Do you want to play with your kick and play piano? No tummy time. Just play. You can play with whatever you want. You want to just lay on your regular mat and look at your little friends? We can start with that. Is that okay? We'll start with that until you're tired, okay? Then you can hang out with mom. Sounds good? <laughs> you're kicking me, son. Gotta put some pants on before we go out. Hopefully you don't get that dirty. I had a perfect outfit for you for life group tonight, and you ruined it. Maybe we'll wear it next time. You want to look at the wall? That's the number five. F-I-V-E. Five. And we have five beach balls. One, two, three, four, five. Five beach balls. And this is the color red. You're done looking now that I turn into a learning moment? That's cool.